Hello again, this is Alec Nash and today's video is going to be about TOEFL structure and skills. So, for the beginning we start by the four sections for TOEFL. They are reading, listening, speaking and writing. Each section has a duration. For example, reading duration could be 60 to 100 minutes. Listening, 40 to 60 minutes. There's a shorter break, like 10 minute break. For speaking, it's 20 minutes. And for writing, it's 20 minutes as well. But with two full skills, we need something different. And with something different, we have to keep in mind two main things, which are language and academic skills. Language skills could be like primary skills and secondary skills. The primary skills are, as mentioned before, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. But for the secondary skills, they are grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, spelling, capitalization, and punctuation. Each one has certain qualities that we should keep in mind and be aware of. For example, with grammar, we need to about the subjects, the object, the verb. With vocabulary, we need to use like, it depends on like beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Uh, pronunciation, you don't have to sound like a native, just be yourself and the purpose of this is to get your message across, like to be understood by the other, the other, the, the other part. The academic thing, which is going to be like in reading and writing, we have some techniques that you use, for example, skimming, like you read very fast, with a good general idea, scanning, you read in details to specify the um, answer for the question or look for answers in the text. There are synthesizing, summarizing the whole ideas, there are note-takings, note-taking can be a bit confusing and difficult for students, as you, know, you have to make sure that you just note the most important ideas and what does the text talk about. Paraphrasing, you don't need to um, use the same words that are given. It's called plagiarizing. That's not legal in English language. It's not right as well. You should use your own words. You should express yourself by certain words that you use, you have studied before or during the course for TOEFL. And that's the simplest and easiest way for TOEFL skills and structure for the IBT. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.